Hi everybody, I hope you're all staying home and staying safe. I wanted to share a story with you today from Revolting Rhymes by Roald Dahl, one of my favourites and if you've never read any of these you should give them a go, they're really good. Illustrated by Quentin Blake of course who is also fabulous. So the one I want to read to you today is called Little Red Riding Hood and the Wolf. As soon as the wolf began to feel that he would like a decent meal, he went and knocked on Grandma's door. When Grandma opened it, she saw the sharp white teeth, the horrid grin, and Wolfie said, May I come in? Poor Grandmama was terrified. He's going to eat me up, she cried. And she was absolutely right. He ate her up in one big bite. But Grandmama was small and tough, and Wolfie wailed, That's not enough! I haven't yet begun to feel that I have had a decent meal. He ran around the kitchen yelping, I've got to have another helping. Then added with a frightful leer, I'm therefore going to wait right here till little Miss Red Riding Hood comes home from walking in the wood. He quickly put on Grandma's clothes. Of course, he hadn't eaten those. He dressed himself in coat and hat. He put on shoes and after that he even brushed and curled his hair. Then sat himself in Grandma's chair. In came the little girl in red. She stopped, she stared and then she said, What great big ears you have, Grandma. All the better to hear hear you with, the wolf replied. What great big eyes you have, Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to see you with, the wolf replied. He sat there watching her and smiled. He thought, I'm going to eat this child. Compared with her old Grandmama, she's going to taste like caviar. Then Little Red Riding Hood said, Grandma, what a lovely, great, big, furry coat you have on. That's wrong, cried Wolf. Have you forgot to tell me what big teeth I've got? Ah oh, well, no matter what you say, I'm going to eat you anyway. The small girl smiles, one eyelid flickers. She whips a pistol from her knickers. She aims it at the creature's head and bang, bang, bang! She shoots him dead. A few weeks later, in the wood, I came across Miss Riding Hood. But what a change. No cloak of red, no silly hood upon her head. She said, hello, and do please note my lovely furry wolfskin coat. There you go. I hope you enjoyed that and look after yourselves. See you all soon.